Y'all, Rusty RV TV, welcome. Check it out. We're leaving kickstands, campground. We're leaving Sturgis. The party's over. Done. <laughs> the 81st motorcycle rally. Another year here. This is my third year coming here. It was interesting, very busy. A lot more people than last year because all the COVID stuff. But it was safe, safe for me. I was plenty safe. You know, this campground, we're seven miles out of town. There's their registration. That's where all the people sign in. They had uh, over, they told me 1,400 dry campers here. The RV park was full. All their cabins were rented out, so they did better last year the they didn't have as many but enjoyed it got to see some fr uh, friends I'm becoming friends like with the bands and stuff it's kind of cool people congregate and then they go back to their world I got to meet uh, some uh, RV or TV friends friends of the channel that was cool Let's take the back way out of here and uh, we'll go by Buffalo Chip in the Full Throttle uh, Saloon. Those big venues like that, the Chip and uh, Full Throttle, that's where all the people go. We'll take a look at it when we drive by, but... That's where they have all the big bands like Kid Rock and ZZ Top and I think they had Winona. It was quite an event. This is a pretty good little cut through. It's only four miles from I-90 and you can get clear to the Buffalo Chip. The only thing is it's a dirt road and it gets a little rough. It's amazing they don't pave this thing as much traffic as it gets. But from where I was staying, I was right off uh, I-90, right in uh, kind of the foothills of the Black Hills. Sturgis and then uh, Spearfish and all that. And then if you head towards the south, that's where the Black Hills are and all that good gold. All the roads, you can really, that's why these motorcycles, I mean, they can drive hundreds of miles. Windy old back roads. That's exit 37 right there. There's other campgrounds uh, all through these uh, little areas here. Across the highway, all the way into town. Way down that direction is uh, Black Hills National Cemetery before you get into Sturgis. But what a great time I had here. Good visit. Taking this uh, dirt road here, you end up, well, we definitely uh, bypass going through downtown again in that zoo. Where we end up, I think it, oh gosh, be the, like the northeast side of town, I believe. Something like that. It's a good little cut, cut through. A little bit of cloud sprinkled. Temperatures dropped yesterday. It was almost 100 degrees here. Look at the dust. Yikes. <laughs> Rolling up the window. And today it's like 70 degrees. All right, we're getting close to the chip. Buffalo chip. I guess, well, they got their own zip code up here place is massive absolutely massive I don't know how many thousands can camp here it's a lot
Here it is off to the right. I really can't go into it. A lot of it's restricted for motorcycles in the parking. It's early. I don't think much is open that I could access without having to buy passes and all that. Which we ain't doing that. Tell you what, there's a huge sign up here. We'll stop, get a shot, and then we'll, maybe we can take a look at it from the air. But I don't know uh, how many can camp here. They, they're stage alone with the sound system. I bet they can hear this miles away. <laughs> oh, here's their sign. Let me pull off here. Stop here. Get a quick look at the sign. There it is, big metal sign. They got a big area with a bunch of flags for like a little park you can walk through. There's all kinds of stuff. Maybe one of these years I'll camp here. Prices are up there pretty good on this so If you get the camping plus the pass, I don't know. I looked online, it's several hundred dollars. But you get access to all the entertainment. But not this year. All right, let's keep trucking. The roar of these bikes, constant. Just constant. Yeah. Look at that tiger's head. These attorneys, they advertise everywhere. They got trucks and vans full of people running around advertising them. Okay, make a left here. But look at the size of this buffalo chip. I mean, that's back there a good mile or so. Easily. There are just tens of thousands of RVs out there. Some's dry camping, some's hookups. There's their flag display. Look at all the flags that they fly and you walk through. Then way up front is the entrance there. Cross away, I think that's just a junkyard or county maintenance yard or something. And there's the highway. They actually uh, bring out temporary traffic lights to regulate traffic on that road and it all goes away. But isn't that something? Look at the size of this place. This has to be the biggest one out here. The Buffalo Chip. Alright. Let's keep cruising. Right up here should be uh, the junction for Highway 79. That's the way we're going to get out of here. Plus, that'll take us right past that full throttle saloon. There's also a state park up here. Uh, what do they call that thing? Bear Mountain, I think. Bear Butte. I did a full video on that last year. Be sure to check out any old South Dakota videos. They will be in a playlist for everyone to watch. Okay, here we go. No rain yet. Kind of feels like it though. Look how brown it is. You know, this whole area, all the Dakotas, I believe down in Iowa, it's, they got drought going here this year. Very minimal rain. You see it on the news here, the local news. They're really clocking their storms, hoping to get every drop. Well, the agriculture is huge. Okay, right up here on the left, there's a drag strip racetrack. Right there on the left. And then here's some, I call them smaller campgrounds, but they're pretty darn big. 
there's the drag strip on the left then on the right here's a campground and these guys are pretty much only open during the rally then they shut down they turn farm fields into campgrounds and fill them up and fill their pockets most of them they'll include the bus pass and uh, stuff in their fees you can see the little cabins up there on top of the hill. Vendors parked right along the road there. A lot of bike stuff, flags, patches, leather stuff. There's that Iron Horse campground. That guy, he's only open for a few weeks, close it down pretty good all right oh straight ahead there is uh, Bear Butte Mountain it's kind of unique because it's rolling and flat terrain and then there it is <laughs> one mountain you can hike it bike trails highly visited very popular plus there's a campground out here too let me just pull in here a minute I don't want to go all the way in Try to get a little better shot. There's a little closer look at it. It's pretty good size uh, for this area. If you look at the rest of the train, like I was saying, oh man, it is flat. Let me find a little place. There's a little turnout up here. Is you got to pay to get in? I don't want to do it this morning. There you go. There it is. There's Bear Butte Mountain State Park. Be sure to look at last year's video on that. I did a real detailed video on this whole area. Okay, let's get back up on 79. Straight across that lake there. That's where the campground is. And that road to get there is right up here on the left. Plus that dirt road will, will zigzag you right back into Sturgis itself. Hey, 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 I see blue sky in our future. Good. Right up the road here, a couple miles, will be Full Throttle Saloon. That's probably the second largest that I know about for campgrounds. In our whole venue, th those are the guys that bring in the big bands and names. I believe there was a whole TV show on that place for a while. Full Throttle. Then it burnt down. It used to be closer to town, and it burnt down, then he moved it out here. Here it is. Now that's a different campground right here on the left. Not sure the name of that one. It's a small one, but right here on the right, they got the big metal statues of the bikes and all that. That's full throttle, and this place is huge. Absolutely huge. They got cabins, housing, massive RV park, big stage. And look at it, just out in the middle of nothing. <laughs>
this, you can just see forever. Look, it's raining out that direction. And there's uh, Bear Butte Mountain. Wow, look at that place. That's beautiful. Got his own pond and everything. Boy, they get blasted with music. <laughs> All these residents out here, huh? Because these places are loud, man. That, those sound systems, oh my goodness. But you can see how dry it is. There's that little campground there. Then the full throttle. Cool. Saturday the 14th, this all shuts down. Be a done deal. Next video coming up, we're going to go to the South Dakota State Capitol. Journey continues. Talk soon.